I was learning to drive. The old guy that taught me how to drive. He said, you can go down a hill a million times too slow. But you can only go down once too fast. All right, good morning. What is it, Thursday? Thursday morning. We delivered our boats this morning over in Kentucky. We're in Winchester, Kentucky. We just loaded this stuff here. I think it's something like a drainage septic system stuff. Pretty easy, not too bad. Got an oddball back here. Kinda have to babysit a little bit. Um, I run this strap right here around that pull all that stuff forward that's not going anywhere it's supposed to be 38,000 pounds going down to Hickory North Carolina so as you can see I got twist in the strap keep it from buzzing Oh, looks good looks good all right let's get out of here all right we're coming into uh, North Carolina we're on I-40 going through the gorge there's a sign welcome to North Carolina welcome to North Carolina we're on our way over to Hickory North Carolina which is about 130 miles right here come through the gorge speed limits I think it's 45 50 for trucks it's windy curvy not too hilly or any extreme grades or anything not like coming through Colorado going up and down the hills on 70 but it is curvy and windy. We're a little top heavy with this stuff, so take it a little easy coming around the corners. I don't know if you guys saw on the road there. It says no trucks left lane. It's like that for like 20 miles. Asheville. I 
think this is called Black Mountain.
All right, we made it over here to Hickory, North Carolina. I called the customer, asked if I could stay here. <laughs> I didn't realize, I don't know if you can see it or not, but their parking lot's on a hill. So we're kind of sitting like this. I don't know if it'll show up in the camera. <laughs> so what that means, all the fuel is gonna drain to that tank over there. It's not too bad. Uh, I don't know that that straight. We're sitting like this. I don't know. Might have to sleep in the bed backwards. Oh, oh man! I tell you, it's been a long couple of days. Today is Thursday, so I left my house on Thursday to go up to Las Vegas last Thursday. I don't know how many miles I drove, but I drove a long way. So, um, we'll deliver this in the morning, and then we got to go down to Lincolnton, North Carolina, pick up a reload, going to Minnesota, with a stop in Springfield, Illinois. So, the plan tomorrow is load, and we might not load till late in the afternoon, I was told. Load tomorrow and then um, head up towards Louisville. Stop in Louisville, do some laundry and uh, whatnots, and then leave Sunday out of Louisville. Go over to Illinois. I'm tired. I've been tired the last couple of days. Ran out of hours or almost out of hours. So. Today was my eighth day, and uh, I have four hours and 40 minutes left out of my 70 hours. I'm watching the traffic drive by. Oh, I got a lot of grief. <laughs> I should say grief. I got just a lot of comments about me pulling into a parking spot. I don't know why you guys get so bent out of shape about me pulling in the parking spots. Oh. I pull in. Whenever I'm somewhere where I can pull in, pull straight in, and back straight up, I'll do it. And the main reason I do that is not because of noise and reefers and generators and everything. Is I don't want my hood sticking out. And if I can have my hood inside the parking spot then that's what I'll do. But I only do it when it's straight in and straight out. But, uh, man, I get a lot of comments about me pulling straight into a parking spot. <laughs> anyway. Bailey. Hang on a second. There's Bailey. Bailey's hungry. <laughs> she knows that word. All right. We'll call it quits for today. We'll sleep on the side of the hill here. See how that goes. I'll talk to you later.